This is a Trainer YGM3. Um, I'm putting a 500Hz sine wave through it into this load, which is, as you can see is a speaker without a magnet. Um, it happens with a real speaker too, um, but obviously I'm just trying to keep the, the noise down in the, in the lab. Um, so we've got breakthrough of RF there um, on the output stage. If I then switch over to a resistive dummy load, same waveform, same level, absolutely clean and stays as clean as, as you like it right all the way up to uh, to full output. So there's something in the output stage on this that is uh, that's not happy. So if we just flick back to the um, flip back to the reactive again. There we go, there it is. Um, just turn that sound wave off. And then we can take a look with the other trays. Okay, so that's the trace going into the grids um, on the on the power valve there. Um, grids, that, yeah, grids of the power valves um, going into the grid stoppers. But of course, there's no real way of knowing whether that RF is EMC um, interference across the amp. It's certainly of smaller magnitude um, on the grids than it is um, on the output stage in comparison to the waveform. So I'm, I'm inclined to think that it's the output side of things that's problematic, maybe the output transformer or something. Because um, actually, let's just think, if I just leave the scope probe there, do it again. And it's picking up on the scope probe without the scope probe being atta attached to anything, so I mean that doesn't really prove anything either, but, um, but yeah, I reckon it's the output stage on this. Okay, um, so I'm back with this trainer. Um, I've just done a little modification to the amplifier. Um, I spotted that there was a cap missing, which should have been there in the output stage um, on the phase inverter, to be precise. It doesn't look like it's been clipped out. It looks like it was probably never fitted there from factory, so um, potentially an issue with the original. But if we now put the same level of signal in, same frequency, clean as a whistle, and that's into the reactive load down there. And in fact, we can even crank that up a bit to get pretty much full output at that frequency and it is clean as a whistle in fact let's wind it up and really distort it yep and it's not it's not a pretty waveform anymore at that point this crossover distortion um but that is all uh, that's all looking pretty good